Welcome, this is a presentation of the link and node communities of the Macaque Integral Cortical Network presented by Jorge Martinez Hermes. First, let's talk about the data that we use for this analysis. We use the Macaque FLNE network of fraction of strictly level neurons. The network is based on retrograde ray tracing experiments in which target areas are injected with a tracer which then colors the neurons in the source areas allowing us to count in them. With these numbers, we can compute the FLNE index, which is the fraction of neurons from a source area to a target area. In other words, they are probabilities. Here, we can see a graphic representation of the 47 injected areas from 106. There are around 3,000 connections. Our goal is to find the community structures in this network. In network science, communities are important because they normally are associated with the functional components of a system. So to discover the communities in the network, we started a link community algorithm to work with neural networks. This algorithm is characterized by classifying links in stereo nodes. To classify links, we need to define the similarity between them. The similarity between two all links is related to the similarity of their uncommon nodes in neighborhoods. The same works with the similarity between in links but in the opposite direction. Because this is an FLNE network, cortical areas in links are the probabilities of being activated by another. For each area, these probabilities are probability distributions. In the case of our neighborhoods, we can also create probability distributions by comparing and normalizing the connections by source areas. The dissimilarity between probability distributions is calculated using the square Hellinger distance, which compares probability distributions as vectors in a vector space. In this way, the similarity between links is 1 minus the square Hellinger distance of their uncommon nodes in a particular direction. We use h square because it is a measure of the distinguishability of cortical areas by their connection probabilities. This is remarkable because areas with different connectivities will perform different functions, while areas with similar connectivities will likely have similar roles. In summary, anatomical distinguishability is associated with the brain functional display. Now, let's talk about our results. Here you can see the hierarchical community structure of the 47 injected areas using our link community algorithm. Branches nodes show when node communities are merged at different h squares, while branch lengths equal the changing h square between node communities. Notice the branch above the blue arrow, which looks similar to the visual system ventral stream, with a sequence from foveal visual areas to high level temporal areas. This hierarchical structure is remarkably similar to the one from the SLN hierarchy associated with the information flow between cortical areas. Finding a relationship between the hierarchies is striking since they come from different data. This proves that there is a relationship between community structure and information flow. Notice as well the other branches in the hierarchy. Are these branches parallel pathways of information flow? And if so, which communities form the pathways? Using our link community algorithm, we can represent the node hierarchy as a dendrogram or tree. We find the best node community partition by cutting this tree at the optimal h square, showing 8 node or aerial communities. Notice that some areas did not merge to any node community at this hierarchical level. We develop an algorithm that assigns these single areas to one or more node communities from the best partition. Six areas were assigned to one community, seven to two covers, and one to three. These results suggest that there are areas belonging to more than one parallel pathway. Since the core of these structures is the similarity of cortical connectivities, we claim that cortical area distinguishability is associated with communities, which turns out to be related to information flow and functionality. But the question is, why? We suggest that the connection between these two features is partially explained by the EDR model and hearing learning. The EDR is because neural connections are constrained by their energy upkeep, prohibiting very long connections and imposing rules on the area's community structure and information flow. And hearing learning because some community structure is outside of the EDR prediction, so in a sense, information flow must also shape its structure when it goes beyond the scope of the EDR. In this presentation, we will show evidence of how much the EDR model explains the communities or functionality of the brain, and leave the part of heavy learning as a question for the future. We test the statistical significance of the found community structure with random networks generated from two models. The first is the configurational model, where link pairs and weights from the original network are exchanged, erasing the connectivity structure of the network. The second is the EDR model, where neural connections between area pairs are sampled from an exponential distribution with a parameter lambda that tunes how stiff is the neural connection decay as a function of distances. In this example, we see the connections of color nodes in circular networks by different lambdas. We compare the cover structure of the brain at the optimal level with these models using the omega index. We found that in the configurational model, all the community structure of the brain was banished, 
while in the EDR the agreement with the structure of the brain is around 37%. Notice that this agreement can change by adding more injections in the system. By running the same analysis with a smaller dataset of 29 injected areas from 91, we found the average omega index to be 29%, so it seems that the agreement with the EDR model improves by adding injections. To conclude, we want to state that at the level of cortical areas there is a connection between distinguishability, community structure and functionality. Areas with distinguishable connections will display different functions, while more undistinguishable areas will likely perform similar jobs. There is a striking similitude between the community and SLN hierarchies. To some extent, it is explained by the EDR model, but other mechanisms are needed to make the relationship. One of them could be heaven learning. More details will come up in a publication soon. Thank you so much for your attention. And if you have any question or comment, please send me an email.